okay so now I'm going to show you how to clean off the thermal pastings it is very important the thermal paste it keeps only on the center part of the CPU or the GPU unit if it spills over then it will not be you know that much effective and the system may overheat so and you should know that when you are applying a thermal paste it will expand after a bit of time so when it will be heated so always keep sure and sure to apply the less amount of thermal paste and that too in the center so first now as you can see it's all thermal pasting here and here it is all messed up so I will be cleaning it so here is a cloth I got with my thermal paste and you can smell it it is soaked into isopropyl alcohol or acetone or the nail polish remover as we call it so this is the best actually it is a solvent so it can basically clean off the things very effectively so you just fold it like this and So now you can always borrow some of the nail polish cleaner or the acetone from your sister and you can use it for this purpose. So I will dip my cloth onto this. Okay, so now as you can see they both are shining the CPU as well as the GPU unit so now the all the thermal old thermal pasting that has been removed from it so now this particular unit the heat sink it is also connected over here and here and these two are transmitting a heat through this thermal pasting so we have to remove the thermal pasting from this area also because over a period of time it also gets old So now I will show you how to apply the thermal pasting, a new thermal pasting after removing the old one. So now this is the tricky part. Mm -hmm. So here I am having this particular thermal paste, master gel. It is of the brand of Cooler Master and I have read reviews about it online and they are saying that it, 
does its job quite well so the idea to apply thermal pasting is like this you have to apply the thermal paste exactly on the center of the GPU as well as the CPU unit and it should not spill over and it should not cover a lot of place and it should not coming on this particular plastic part or the board so it will further uh, decrease the functioning of the thermal paste so let's see how to do it So I have put it on the center and now I will just uh, use this thing which uh, comes with this thermal paste. It's having a flat surface so I will just press on the top of the thermal paste like this and it, it will automatically expand and cover the uh, GPU unit. So as you see it has spilled over so it means that I have applied more amount of thermal pasting so now I will remove this again and I will apply it again. Okay so now I will apply the thermal paste again and I will try to apply it on exactly on the center and as minimum as possible so that it should not spill over. Okay, so here it is, I have applied it exactly on the center, yeah, as you can see, so nine. now I will flatten it out. So now it has spread out quite evenly and this much amount is sufficient. So similar way I will try it for the CPU unit. Exactly on the center and then I will flatten it out. So this is how the thermal paste should be applied. So now I will show you a close up of how exactly a good amount of thermal pasting look like. So it is spread about the center and it is not spilling over. So this is how it should be done. I have applied a bit of thermal pasting on the heat sink part of the GPU and the CPU. These two parts made with the C 
CPU and the GPU respectively. So it's always good to apply a bit of thermal paste on this part too and it should not also spread out much because eventually both of the parts will get together and uh, if you have applied more here and less here then eventually the extra amount of thermal paste from this part will go to the CPU or the GPU. So in my personal experience I have seen that we should be applying some of the thermal paste on this part also it provides more amount of cooling and in some other videos you can found that people are saying that you should not apply on this and you can only apply on the CPU and the GPU part but uh, it's up to you the only big deal is that you should be applying the thermal paste in the least quantity possible and you should not spread it out much so now we will be putting the heat sink unit back and assembling the laptop